Well, howdy there, folks. Justin here again. Today is Throwback Thursday, but I am not building a set today. Instead, I'm going to show y'all the binder I have mentioned. The one that has a bunch of stuff in it. Now, a lot of it is just loose in here. But there are several pages that have, you know, some of them are the covers of sets. Some of them are, uh, like I have uh, uh, the basic building sets. What number is that? 720 from back in the 80s. So, basic building set 527. You know what? Let me just go ahead and adjust the camera so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Alright, so, again, like I said, here is 720, basic building set, a bunch of simple pieces. I'm not even sure I still have that gray base plate. This is supposed to have had a, a gray base plate with it, 16 by 32. Yeah. Don't know where it is. And then here's 527, like I was talking about. Even more basic set. This is one I had the instruction booklet for. It's got a bunch of simple little builds. So. And here we have the uh, modular space transport set 6892. So, as you can see, I don't have the instructions. Not sure where they disappeared to. Oh, but it does show. Let's see if I can get the. It does show some, uh, uh, you know, alternate build ideas. And then right here we have set. Uh, the Lunar Patrol Craft, yeah, Lunar Patrol Craft, aka Xenon X Craft, uh, set 6872. You saw me build this uh, oh, two weeks ago, I think it was. I don't remember. But again, some alternate uh, build ideas right here. And we got uh, Spybot here, set uh, 1498. So, instructions. Front cover, no alternate build ideas. And then there's, what was this one again? 1499, the Twin Starfire, which does have some alternate build ideas right there. And yeah, right here. So, And I've mentioned this one before, uh, set 6699, it's uh, from the Legoland Town system. It's a little uh, bike and motorcycle shop. So. I just haven't pulled out the pieces for this one yet to build it. And then there's this little fellow right here. Who is, that num that's number uh, 6641. I don't remember the name of this set off the top of my head, but I have it. So, again, just haven't dug the pieces out. And as you can see, we didn't even fill this. But anyways, scoot this off. Oh, and stickers. Robot sticker. All right, so we got ourselves this little flyer showing off some sets. You know, from uh, what year was this? Oh, this is 1999. This is this probably came out of one of the sets that my brother. Has but doesn't remember. Here we have another little basic booklet. Some more very simple builds. Here's 
Here we have an ideas book, number 226. Yeah, this is what happens, folks. Opens with some Duplo ideas, and it shows that Lego actually can be used with Duplo. Which, any of you out there who build big mocks, I imagine it's a good idea to use Duplo on the inside, and I'm pretty sure I've seen some folks do that. Old little fellas. Not even designed to have a minifig inside. It's just designed to look like a vehicle to be played with. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that makes you think, huh, I wonder where Minecraft got their idea from. <laughs> so, now see, this is some of the stuff that I, I never really had. I never really had, you know, enough track and that kind of stuff to do that. I mean, I, I think I could do it now with some of the stuff that I've picked up over the years, uh, yard sales and whatnot, but... Now this is an idea that I like, you know, because typically you the the these are this is wheels for a vehicle. You can't really see that, but typically, you know, you got wheels there for a vehicle. But you pop the you pop the tires off, you use the studs on the side of the top on the on the side of the wheels, and you can make yourself a little swing. So. Fun stuff. Chimney, chair, couch, table and chair. Little boat. Ah, felt like I skipped the page. Crane. Probably could build this now. This, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I have all the pieces necessary to build this. So. I probably do. But I'm not overly concerned. Zeppelin, balloon, airplane, helicopter, smaller plane, a bunch of other st little stuff. All designed to just be, be played with, not minifigure scale. And now this one, if you were to use some modern pieces, you could modify it because because it's this helicopter. The interior space is meant to be like two studs wide, which is not wide enough for the uh, uh, arms of a minifig. But if you were to use some, uh, modify it a bit, uh, you could probably squeeze one in. You'd have to put the minifig in and then finish building it. So, oh, a ski lift. Or I should say a uh, uh, gondola. Yeah, gondola. And then uh, ski jump. Old electronic parts. Now you see, you know, chain track type stuff like that. I never had that. Still don't. Closest I have to that is for some of the smaller things that uh, I've picked up this year. So, radio tower. Alphabet. Numbers. See, Lego's been doing Lego art since the 80s. You know, the, the Iron Man and Sith, all that kind of stuff that's, that's 
you know, came out this year. That ain't new. The brick sketches, that ain't new. They've been doing that for decades. <laughs> so, oh, and see, dots, you know, pencil holder, you know, that kind of stuff. Picture frame. Yeah, yeah. People think dots is all new and fancy. It's, it's just specially designed to be used for that kind of stuff, but you can use Lego for all sorts of things. And here we got book 200. This one is, as you can see, newer. So. And here you got one that you can actually squeeze a mini fig in, fig in there. So, uh, yeah, you can you can get one in there standing up. I never had one of these, you know, key turn pieces. Helicopter, big rig, couple race cars. One, this one is much bigger than this one. I don't know if you can't tell, I'm looking at all this upside down so you guys can see things right side up. So, I don't, you know what, I might have this piece. I might have this dump truck piece. I'm not 100% sure. I know I have uh, at least one of the front loaders that I can use. So, I not sure I have one of these doors but I know I got some of these windows so I could at least build a something close to this a, fac a facsimile of it ah man look at the old Lego city you got one of the old boats over there oh, there's another boat yeah shell shell gas station they used to have a there used to be a partnership with uh, between Shell and Lego, and uh, you could get officially uh, you know official Shell sets. I got some stickers around here somewhere. At least I did. No idea if I still do. Oh, here we transition into space. Got some old school yellow spacemen. So, pretty sure I never had one of these pieces. I know for sure I don't have one now, but I'm almost certain I never had one. So, but that's okay. Pretty sure I got some of these uh, big round uh, tires somewhere. So. Oh, man. I do like me some classic space. Designs for a couple little robots. Very similar to Spybot that I showed you earlier. But I don't have any gray ones like that. So. Yeah, but that's okay. Oh, wait, there's I have three robot villains. Yeah, one, two, three. You know what? Pick this up and show you. There's the first two. There's the third one. And then, sort of a space space castle ca space castle mashup. Because you got space stuff here, and then you got horses and knights. Oh, this, they put a Technic brick on this guy. I got to show you this one. This, this Black Falcon. They put a Technic brick on top of his head. And on top of him instead of a head. <laughs> and here we are, Castle. So, just a nice little drawbridge. There it is all built. There it is from the back. Cart with a horse. There's a nice little scene. I think all of this is. I don't. I don't think it's, there's a single set in in amongst all that. So.
Yep. No, we're about to get into city. It's castle, city. Oh, wait, we already did city. That was just a final mishmash. But yeah, here's some more space. Yeah. I really... I miss these, these little idea books. These were tons and tons of fun. Now we got book number 260. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save these last ones for another video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. Uh, leave me any comments you have down below. And uh, please submit your questions for the monthly Q&A in the comments down below as well. Uh, monthly Q&A is on the third Friday of every month. So look forward to seeing what you have to ask. Thank you very much for watching again. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.